Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday, the 3rd of September 2020, and the time has just gone 11.29 British Summer Time. And this week's Chart of the Week is the Australian dollar versus the US dollar, or the Aussie dollar, as it often gets referred to as. Um, it's been in a solid upward trend uh, since, the, uh, since, since the middle of March. And only a few days ago, uh, we're not to hit uh, its highest level in basically two years. Uh, in the last few sessions, it has moved a, a, a bit lower, uh, partially to do with the rebound uh, in the US dollar index as a whole, uh, but also um, on the back of the worst than expected GDP numbers out of Australia. Uh, Australia is now in a, re in a recession, its first recession uh, in nearly 30 years, but given what's gone on with, with COVID-19, um, that's no, no surprise there. Uh, and this, vid this, this video is going to be about uh, looking at potential uh, price action of the currency pair. So the move to the upside has been exceptionally strong. It's retreated a small bit from the two-year high. We can see here the positive momentum is, 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 um, is fading off. If you do move lower from here, uh, where, could, where could we potentially find uh, support? Uh, so if we do move lower from this, this area, uh, we could head back down towards the, kind of the 70, 72 area. Potentially back down to this blue line here, the 50 day moving average, we can see that there's a bit of consolidation around that area back in April. Also, if you look at the level of the 50 day, 52 day, 50 day moving average, uh, it comes into play in around 0 spot 7113, which is kind of around the bouts, there, thereabouts, that zone uh, acted as support uh, in early August. And if a few metrics kind of overlap, uh, or a few pri um, price points overlap, that makes it more significant because some people will be looking out for the recent lows, uh, other people will be looking out um, for the moving for, for, for moving averages. So that area as a whole uh, could act uh, as support. And even if you go below that, um, we could head back down towards the kind of towards the kind of big number of zero spot seventy. We could notice here when the market was moving higher, just north of zero spot seventy acted at resistance as well in around zero spot uh, 7037. So that kind of entire zone of zero spot 7040, zero spot 70 has also kind of been uh, uh, significant in the last few months. So these are the potential areas we could see for support should we uh, move uh, move lower in, uh, in the Aussie dollar, Australian dollar versus the US dollar. Um, if you do move to the upside and if the wider trend continues, and if you take out the recent highs of just north of zero spot 74, we could find ourselves heading back up, um, heading back up towards zero spot 74.78. Apologies, yes, zero spot 74.78, which is this zone here. It's kind of it acted as both support uh, in March 2018, and also that area, broadly speaking, acted as resistance on a few occasions uh, in, Jul in, um, in July uh, 2018. So. That area was a, a fairly significant uh, over two years ago, so it could be of significance in the near term. Like I said, um, the, the wider trend is to the upside. So although we are seeing some signs, uh, some so, uh, bearish moves in the last few sessions, you know, this could be a case of uh, we have a pullback towards zero spot 72 or to the 50 day moving average or even down to zero spot 70 before resuming the wider upward trend that's been in place for the last number of months. We can't ignore the wider picture. Now, if you are gonna be trading um, the Australian dollar versus the US dollar or any dollar crosses, keep an eye out for what's going on on the US dollar index. This is the dollar index here of the September contract. I have um, on a daily chart, I've already circled and highlighted uh, Tuesday's daily candle, which, which has the potential to be a hammer formation, whereby it fell to a 28 month low, but it rebounded from there. It's been pushing higher since. So this could be the beginning of a turnaround in the US dollar. And if that is the case, uh, that could see downward pressure on the Australian dollar versus the US dollar. Um, keep an eye out for this area here, the zero spot, the 94 metric on the dollar index chart, just because there's been a few occasions in the past few months, when the past month or so, when the dollar index tried to break, tried to rebound and kind of shake off the wider negative trend, uh, but it's always failed. So if we do have a break above 94, that could be a, that could be an indication that you know what, the bearish trend in the dollar is potentially coming to an end. And if that is the case, that could mean further pressure um, on the Australian dollar versus the US dollar. Conversely, 
if the the dollar index does what it's been doing the last few weeks, whereby it has a rally and then turns over on itself, if you do turn over on ourselves and then take off the most the more recent lows, uh, that could be a sign that the wider upward trend in the Australian dollar versus the US dollar is going to continue. Um, also, just worth noting, today at 13.30 British summer time, we have some important uh, data of the US. We have the jobless claims number. And tomorrow, we have the all-important non-farm payrolls report. Uh, in fact, I'm hosting a live webinar tomorrow. So that, that's Friday, the 4th of September at 13.15 British summer time. I'll be covering a webinar for that. So please feel free to sign up. Thank you for listening. Stay safe. Have a good trading week and good luck.